Hey everyone, how are you? Simone here and today I am talking all about how to get more collab opportunities, how to get more podcast opportunities, how to just get your name out there and start collaborating more with more different entrepreneurs, get booked on more podcasts, have more mutually beneficial collaborations, and really just how to get more visible online. I had a video a few weeks ago about how to do it for women of color entrepreneurs, but I wanted to open it up and really just talk all about how to get these speaking opportunities and guest coaching opportunities with a small audience. So no matter what size your audience is, you should be able to book these, right? If you have something that you're good at, you should be able to book podcast interviews. You should be able to guest coach. You should be able to speak at conferences and summits and things like that. You just have to have the confidence. So if you're new here, my name is Simone and I am a business coach. I am a business and diversity and inclusion coach. I really specialize in creating inclusive environments for people, um, for female entrepreneurs actually. And I also focus on elevating and really helping women of color entrepreneurs get seen and visible. But you guys, these tips you can take anywhere. And this is the channel if you really want to be seen, be visible, learn about passive income, and just build an inclusive environment if you're a content creator, a coach, or an entrepreneur. So let's get started. So introduction wise, you're like, well, why are you the the expert and authority on, you know, booking podcasts, doing all of this, booking guest coaching. Well, in the month of June alone, I booked, I want to say $6,000 in alone, six grand alone in guest coaching, guest speaking, summits, things like that. All of that in the month of June, I blew up. Yes, a lot of it was because A lot of white people started caring about diversity and inclusion, and I talked about that a lot. So there was that, but I also got a ton of opportunities, right? I also booked some really big podcast opportunities with like Tyler J. McCall, um, Amanda Francis, Slay Coach, Jamie King. Wait, is her last name King? I think it is Jamie King. Ah! No, sorry, Jamie, if you're watching this. (laughs) But yeah, I booked a ton of really high-end, really well-known entrepreneurs on their, like, I was on their podcast, right? So part of it was me pitching, part of it was them asking me, etc, etc. So we'll talk a lot about how I got those opportunities and really practical steps that you can take to get your own to make your own opportunities. I don't say get your opportunities because I believe in you making them, right? So let's get started on some tips. The first thing before we get into anything is to get over yourself, you guys. If you have an online business or you're a coach or something, you have something that you're an expert in. So get over yourself and stop saying, I'm not an expert. Like I've heard of people turning down opportunities because they don't feel like they're qualified. That's BS. The online world is a wild, wild west and you can truly just do what, I mean, you can't do whatever you want, but if you teach people, you get paid to do something, then you can talk about it on somebody's podcast or coach somebody on it, right? So the first step is to get over yourself because you're shooting yourself in the foot when you say, I don't deserve this opportunity or I'm not an expert, right? Get over that. Get over that mindset. That's the first thing. It really doesn't matter if you have 100 followers or 20K followers, 100 subscribers or 100K subscribers on YouTube, you still have something valuable to say, okay? That is incredibly important to learn. Number two, okay? Be clear on what expertise that you offer, what your unique perspective is, have that written out, have that ready, because you need to be able to make it very concise and say, this is the reason why I need to be on your podcast. This is my unique perspective. This is exactly what I teach. This is my framework, etc. So when you have that, it makes it so much easier to do pitching, to do talking about yourself. Talking about yourself is hard. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but like really having that boil down and just like do, 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 do. Having like a document that always has has it ready, your bio, your headshot, things like that, and have your message and your expertise be really clear. Bonus points if you can make yourself a press kit, 
Bonus points if you can have a press um, page on your website. That's advanced stuff, but that is so good to be able to have that, right? Next thing is be a stalker. Yes, you heard me right, be a stalker. So the best way to get these opportunities for collaborations on bundles and podcasts and things like that is to stalk the people that you're obsessed with, right? Go and look on their page and say, hey, oh my gosh, they're looking for podcast interviews oh my gosh, like I would love to be on their podcast or hey, you know, you don't have to wait for that invitation. If you're just interested in what they're doing, then stalk them and see what they're about and learn more about them, right? I also love Facebook groups. I always see in Facebook groups, people are like, hey, I'm booking out for my next season of my podcast. Who is interested in joining? That's a great way to dip your toes in, get your feet wet and start getting more exposure. Getting exposed to different audiences is incredibly important, right? So start there as well. Number five is goes hand in hand, but really make sure that you're doing your research. You don't wanna just pitch every single huge podcast just because they have huge numbers. You wanna make sure that it's something that makes sense for your audience, your growth, and really that you know, you are interested in their stuff. It's so embarrassing to go on a podcast and not know anything about the person, not know about the format, not know about what they offer, not knowing their structure, not knowing their story. You got to do your research before you pitch, right? You can say to in your pitch, and we'll talk about pitching in just a sec, hey, my favorite episode was XYZ. I loved how you talked about this. I am more likely, whenever I launch a podcast, I'm more likely to have that person come on who actually is a true fan and listens and can contribute rather than random person who's just trying to tap into my growth and my audience. That is scammy. That is not good, right? The next tip is having your professional headshot, have your professional bio, have your professional elevator pitch, have those three things ready at all times. Before you pitch your podcast, it's going to be so annoying or pitch to be on somebody else's podcast or guest coaching, guest speaking. It's so annoying to always have to rewrite your bio to refine our headshot, have them in a folder in Google Drive, have them ready, send that link over, and you're so professional, you're ready. And then you don't have to reinvent the wheel every single time. Also makes you very professional when you're like, oh yeah, I can just shoot this over to you right now versus here's six days in between where I'm trying to get my bio together and get my headshot and get my elevator and then I'm freaking out. Uh, just have that ready knowing, even if you don't have any opportunities lined up, just have it ready know that you're ready and have it lined up, okay? Next one, don't be afraid to pitch your little heart out. I think this is so important, you guys. Be ready and willing to pitch, like be willing to pitch yourself. I think this is so important with entrepreneurs. You can't wait for the opportunity to present itself. I was lucky and I had, I wasn't lucky actually because I was a freaking boss <laughs> but like seriously I had a lot of people approach me but before that I approached other people and said hey I'd love to be on your podcast hey I'd love to guest coach hey I'd love to guest speak is there any opportunities for that and then it really worked out and they were like oh my gosh yes I totally want to do that right so it's really important that you guys make the opportunities for yourself I hate the woe is me entrepreneur you guys I hate that I never get asked to guest coach I never get asked to be on podcast no one ever wants to do a bundle with me. No one ever wants to come together. Wah. Like that is complaining and I'm not about it, right? You have to make your own opportunities and you have to make sure that you're doing it, right? So I have my little sign here. You guys see my new YouTube background, but do it scared, right? It is scary to pitch. It is scary to do this, but you have to take matters into your own hands if you want to get more visible, you want to get in front of different audiences, and you really want to grow your platform platform, your YouTube channel, your Instagram, your Facebook, you have to do these things in order to get ahead. And that's just the bottom line. Side note as well, you can also create a customizable template that you can use for pitching. Always customize it for the podcast with their name, a little bit about the podcast, a little bit about you, but you can have your core information ready, your bio, why you want to be on the podcast, XYZ, why you'd be a good fit. So all of that is super important and you can just stop reinventing the wheel and plug and play 
when you need to customize it a little bit. You can have that template always ready so you can send it off to people when you do find a podcast that would be a good fit. Next thing, if you're pitching yourself to be on a summit or in a conference or anything, always have some sort of lead magnet or freebie or low ticket offer that is ready to give to the audience because a lot of times what happens is you'll get asked to be in this thing or or you will approach them and they're gonna be like, okay, cool, part of this summit or conference is for you to give away a freebie. You don't wanna to have to be making this freebie. You wanna have this freebie ready. So it should be in whatever topic that you're an expert in, have the freebie ready, have it, like already pre-packaged up, have your course that you've already sold, have that ready and know exactly what you're gonna offer because I personally have been burned. I burned myself <laughs> essentially because I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have this offer ready. Ah, embarrassing, right? So you wanna make sure that you have that ready and you don't have to do extra work later. The next thing to remember is that exposure is exposure, whether it's a small bundle with a few other entrepreneurs with a small following or if it's a small summit or if it's a huge summit like I'm speaking in a summit with a crazy big entrepreneur like who knows Amy Porterfield for God's sakes I'm like oh my gosh I'm famous right <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna put the same energy into that opportunity as I would with a friend who is running a smaller summit because that is my name on the line that is my reputation I'm gonna make sure that that is clean and amazing right so make sure that whatever energy you're putting out you're putting on your most professional most vibrant high energy all the time because if you're not then it's not a good look for you you really want to make sure you're doing the collaboration opportunity out of passion and excitement and of course wanting to get something out of it but really from a spirit of service right okay so my last tip is to make sure that if you aren't getting these opportunities they're not coming your way make your own freaking table like make your own bundle make your own collab collaborate with other entrepreneurs don't worry about them not saying yes the right people will say yes and people will be so honored and excited to work with you that you have to try to do it yourself i'm going to probably launch a summit one of these days i don't know if i'll do a bundle or a giveaway or anything like that but summit has always been on my mind because i want to build a table for us right and us being women of color entrepreneurs and so it's really important that you guys think of bigger than just, I'm not getting invited, I'm not doing this, blah, 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 I'm sad, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Make your own opportunities, make your own. So that's all I have to say about that. I am participating actually in a bundle that I'm super excited about with other black entrepreneurs. It's called the Black Boss Bundle, right? We saw in June that there were so many people that wanted to support black business and love that, but the movement has died down and people aren't as excited. Well, now's the time to get excited. If you want to get access to my amazing spicy client attractor course, which is actually normally 197, inside of this bundle with, I believe there's eight other entrepreneurs, you guys can get access to all of our amazing courses, courses on sales, Instagram, strategy, you guys want these courses. We are the best of the best black entrepreneurs. I have to say so myself, but go ahead and click the link in my bio to purchase the whole bundle, all of these seven courses for $97. It's a no brainer, you guys. It's gonna be so amazing. One of my favorite collab opportunities that I've participated in thus far, and you guys can do more collab opportunities as well. But go ahead and click the link in my bio and you guys can get access to that. It's going to hopefully not break the bank for you. I know $97 can be a lot, but it's a really great way of getting exposure to different black entrepreneurs who really know their stuff, including myself, hello. So if you guys wanna support me, go ahead and click the link below and purchase that bundle. It's gonna be fire and you can work through it for, through the rest of summer. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye.